Hello everyone and welcome to Pokemon Pearl, the Nuzlocke edition. You may be wondering what happened to Emerald, also how come you're playing so much Pokemon, it's constantly on your channel. One, shut up. It's my channel and I'll do what I want. Two, eh, the thing with Emerald was that shit takes a long time, because levels are all fucked up and a lot of it's up to chance, so I'm going to be working on that in the background. In the meantime, it is probably going to replace Emerald on my channel. It might replace the pre-sequel, or the pre-sequel, the Tales from the Borderlands, depending on how I feel. Whether this or Breath of Fire will go up first, I still don't know yet. Uh, Dark Cloud, it's definitely not going to replace, because that shit's still going on. That'll be a while. Anyways, time for a Nuzlocke. Haven't done one of these since Gen 1. Gen 4, I played it once as a kid got sick of losing and bust out an action replay to beat the Elite Four because they're hard as shit, so it'll probably go poorly as far as Nuzlocke's are concerned. Uh, as far as custom rules on Nuzlocke go, uh, I'm implementing the Shiny Clause, which is if I find a Shiny, fuck everything, I'm catching it. And... I don't know, if I have a total team wipeout relatively late in the game, I'd probably quit on it, but if it's relatively early, I can probably just, you know, reset myself. I have some... Pokemon that uh, I can probably hang it out in the box anyways. Or I might just restart the game if it's early enough, who knows. Anyways, do I need any advice? No, it's not even my first adventure on this channel. What was Lively and Habdo by Kutris known as Pokemon? This is on the DS, which means uh, there's going to be a touchscreen element that you won't be seeing because you don't have to see it. It's literally just like a map. And you have to trust me, I did I did just hit it there. I successfully emulated it. We humans, oh, the text is so slow. Other times we work together, but mostly we just battle. Really beat the shit out of each other. Fucking Munchlax. Oh, tell me a little bit about yourself. Are you a boy or are you a girl? Uh, for this outing, I am a girl. Right, so you're a girl. Yes. What is your name? Her name? God, they never have enough full name. Never have enough for the full name. It's very annoying, really. Right out. That'll do. Your name is Token. Yes. Ah, okay. So you're Token. A fine name that is. This boy here. I believe he's your friend. This douche and a half. What will his name be? Clint. Hmm. All right. Um, as a promise to a friend who has yet to actually appear in any of my videos, as far as I'm, you know, permission-wise, or allowing somebody to be in my videos, because he keeps popping up unexpectedly, we're gonna just have Nathan. Good old Nathan, who, if you don't know, he's a bit famous on this channel for interrupting me while I'm recording. He's done it in Ratchet & Clank 1, Ghost Trick... And... Tales? From the Borderlands? I think it might have been one other game, actually. Oh, uh, he messaged me while I was playing with my friend Kaido over on her channel. Nathan, is it? Is that your friend's name? Yep. So now he's in the game. He doesn't get a Pokemon named after him, but he shows up as a rival. Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. On your journey, you'll meet countless Pokemon and people. Which is why we're giving you a device to count all of the Pokemon you meet. I'm sure along the way, you will discover many things. Perhaps even do something about yourself. What? Now, go leap into the world of Pokemon. One annoying thing about the DS emulator. A Desume is... Probably the best DS emulator on the... Despite the exploration team's best efforts, however, the rare, oddly colored Pokemon eluded detection. The rumored red Gyarados failed to appear, even fleeting to even fleetingly to the crestfallen team. That concludes our special report, Search for the Red Gyarados, brought to you by Jubilife TV on Nationwide Net. See you next week, same time, same channel. Wow. I'm a little disappointed in you, Token. Watching that shit. It's a Nintendo Wii! Let's say it's powered by a Wiimote. It's controlled by a Wiimote. Alright, immediately. Need to go into options here. That was mid? Are you serious? 
That's horrible. What are you looking? Um, most important part of the game right here. Ooh, I like that one. Cool. Let's stay. I better, nope. Good thing I checked, eh? 16? Yeah. Confirm. There we go. Alright, sweet. Check the PC. Got a, got a potion for me? No! <laughs> I'm even playing this game. X button opens the menu. Thanks! I already figured that out. Um, as I was going to say about Desume, there isn't really a speed forward function. I mean, I think there is if you dig around enough, but I can't be bothered to figure that out. Nathan came calling for you a little while ago. I don't know what it is, what it is about, but he said it was an emergency. Yeah, sure thing, Mom. So we're back to not having a dad. Whoops. God damn. Oh, yes. Don't go into the tall grass. It would be okay if you had a Pokemon, but you don't, so... Tough shit, kid. Never thank... Oh, man. That is... Ugh. That's not a great effect, I must say. Hmm. Might have to see if that comes through on the recording or not. It's possible it might not. Not much I can do about it, though. Maybe I can alter the resolution. That might fix it. I don't know. If you don't know what I'm talking about, as I move, there's a bunch of black sprinkles just all over the screen. Meanwhile, this guy. Hiya, Togan. Nathan was looking for you. I think he's home. Why don't you go check it out? Because I want to go up there, you douche. I don't even know where Nathan lives. In here, perhaps? You're not Nathan. Some douche who leaves his house unlocked. Does it only happen on this screen? Or can I... Because I don't think it was happening. Oh, the D-pad is not my friend, I gotta say. Now, oh, fucking this is my house. Damn it. I'm always doing that. God, I can't wait for the running shoes. Fucking where is Nathan? Is he really in the biggest house in town? What an asshole. Thud. Oh, yeah, thanks, Nathan. What was that about? Oh, hey, Token, did you hear my groovy music come on as I burst out the house? Yeah, I did, actually. Go on to the lake, you come too, and be quick about it. Oh, Token, I'm finding you one million pokey if you're late. Oh, jeez, forgot something. Well, guess I'll just head out to the lake then. Fuck that guy. Oh, for God's sakes. Ah, oh, Nathan was like, yeah, I spoke to him already. How about you fuck off, prick? You and your weird haircut. Why well, everyone got poofy blonde hair in this game? That's what I want to know. Your son's an asshole, Mrs. Nathan. Did you come calling on Nathan? He was gone for a second. Think I'm running right back home. He can't sit still. Just like the opposite of Nathan. I have to drag that boy into games. Better take my bag and journal, too. Oh, hey, Togan. I'm going to the lake. It's ten million fine if you're late. Damn, fines are steep in this universe. They escalate ten times. Just... As soon as your back's turned, suddenly it's ten times the fine. Yeah, I'm not really seeing that when I'm outside, when I'm inside buildings. Who knows, maybe it's just in towns? Hey, saw a news report on TV. Search for the Red Gyarados. Mystery appearance of the furious Pokemon in a lake. That show got me thinking. I bet our local lake has a Pokemon like that too. So that's what we're gonna go do. Ah, I have a traveling companion. Um... It's still happening, but it doesn't seem as bad as in town. Nah, it's it's about as bad as in town. Alrighty, to the lake, let's find a red Gyarados. Yeah, sure. What's going on? That old man's touching that boy. Professor, there's nothing out of the ordinary on the other side either. Keep looking. Hmm, I may have been mistaken. Something appears to be different than it was before, but, uh... It's enough that we've seen the lake. We're leaving. Oh, Lucas. Professor, you've been gone for four years now. Wow, really? How are you enjoying being back in the Sinnoh? Hmm, there's one thing I can say. The relaxed child labor laws and... Age of consent is much appreciated compared to whatever other region I was in. Who knows? There are many rare... I'm gonna stop making pedophile jokes now, thank you very much. Unless it's really, really tempting. 
many rare kinds of Pokemon in Sinnoh. The region should serve us very well in regards to studies. Excuse me, let us pass, please. Get the fuck out of my way, children. Sorry, folks. Yeah, alright then. What was that about? Those two. Let's go check this out. What's that? Don't go into tall grass? No problem, no problem. We haven't been there long enough for a wild Pokemon. Yeah, bullshit. That's not how this game works. It's a briefcase. Those people forgot it here. What are we supposed to do with it? We can try to deliver it, but who are they? I heard them say Professor. Oh shit, I've been attacked by birds. briefcase just happened to fall open. Which one do I want? I have no idea. No, I don't want him. He sucks. Maybe. Probably. Eh. I'm not getting fucking Turtwigs. That dude's horrible. He's way too slow. Fucking, I gave up on him even in my main game when I was a kid. So I'm gonna flip this here coin. Heads is Piplup. Tails is I pick what I want, which means Piplup. Uh, it's heads, so I'm going for Pimplup. Uh, yep, Piplup. I sometimes say Pinplup. I don't know why, but it's Piplup. I will take Piplup. A Starly. Right out. So you can't see what moves I have down here and what I'll be doing. I'm just gonna have to accept that I can handle myself in a fight. Piplup's attack fell. Oh no. Now how will I beat the shit out of this Starly? Yo, Starly, bro. You gotta you gotta do better than that. Oh for god's sakes. You had tackle that whole time, eh? Could have been doing that. Could have been doing that. I would have lost like two health. Maybe even three, if you've been doing that the whole time. Much smarter move. Fwah! Your Piplup totally rocked! My Turtwig was way tougher than yours. No, it wasn't. The guy sucks. It's way too slow. There were other people's Pokémon, though. We had to use them. They won't mind, will they? Whew, you found the briefcase. Professor would have gone through the roof if he knew I forgot it here. What's that? You stole two Pokemon? Ah, shit. Briefcase of the Professor's. So I'll take it, okay? What was that about? I mean, what part of that wasn't clear? Let's get out of here. My Pokemon got hurt from the battle. I mean, so did mine, but... Pretty, you know, it's... Don't know how hurt. After returning these Pokemon, I want to spend a little more time with this guy. Alright. Hey, oh, I want to check the lake, because I think... Ah, oh, fucking... Well, now there's people messaging me again. That'll probably get picked up. Well, it's more here than uh, me, personally. Oh, Discord. They want to play Vermilitude, which... I would be up for playing, but I don't have it installed. I should set that up to install. At the end of this episode, I'll probably set that up to install, since I'm not doing anything else with my internet. Piplup Turtwig! I see, that's how it is. Well, guess I'm gonna have to arrest you two. Lucas, sue their parents. I'm going to get the lab to call the cops. Wait for me. You should visit the lab later. I'll be seeing you. What was that craziness about? How many times are you gonna ask that, Nathan? I mean, if he was angry, he could have just yelled at us or whatever. And he didn't want his Pokemon back? We should go home. I agree, let's pretend this never happened. Game over. What's up, dear? Wow, I can't believe that happened to you. Am I ever glad that both you and Nathan are harmed? Professor you mentioned is most likely Professor Rowan of Sandrum Town. I've heard that he is well known for his choice of Pokemon. He's also quite intimidating. Token, I think you should visit him in Sandrum Town. You need to properly explain why you had no choice but to use his Pokemon. I'm sure he'll understand. Oh, I know, put these on. Why were you withholding those from me, Mom? I doubt our feet sizes are the same. Our foot size, shoe sizes. With running shoes, you can get far away places much faster. Oh, for, I know, thank you. 
Sweet. This is also the first game that lets you run indoors, so all is forgiven, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, what was it in Gen 3? Was it... For whatever reason, I can't remember if it was... Uh, trainer tips. Eh, I don't care. I can't remember if it was... 11 minutes or 17 minutes, but within the first episode, I was out on my own, catching Pokemon, ready to start my journey battling gym leaders and shit. Does this count? But first of all, this does not count for Nuzlocke because I don't have Pokeballs yet. I have no access, so... I know the rules of the Nuzlocke. I, I can't catch it. There's nothing I can do. I think after I'm done talking with Rowan, I'll categorize it as being off on moon, which might take the whole episode. It's Pokemon Research Lab. We'll just go up ahead and... God damn it, Nathan. What the... Oh, it's you, Token. That old guy is not so scary once you get to know him. That doesn't matter. I'm out of here. See you later. What was that? Your friend always seems to be in such a rush. Yeah, he has had one too many caffeine drips, I think. Look at all these scientists. Finally, you've come. Token, was it? Let me see your Pokemon again. Yep, it's still a Piplup. Pokemon seems to be rather happy. Alrighty, I'll give you that Piplup as a gift. Now that's yours, would you like to give it a nickname? You damn right I would. As per usual, since it is a boy. Whoop! You know what? Sure, why not? Fab Fowl. There we go. He's so fab. Might as well change it up a little bit. Are you happy with that nickname? Damn Skippy I am. Friend Nathan told me what happened to the leg. I heard you battled very well, despite it being your first time. Again, from what I see, there is a growing bond between you and that Pokemon. That's why I would like to address to you with Piplup. Boy, am I glad you're kind towards Pokemon. If you weren't, well... Shit, we'd just be out of luck, wouldn't we? Ahem. <coughs> Let's move on to the main topic. That was an awkward silence. Lucas, you... You're not good at the whole... general chatting, are you? Making small talk. There's something I want you to do for me. My name is Rowan. I study Pokemon. First of all, I want to know how we... I want to know exactly what kinds of Pokemon live in the Sinnoh region. Alright, since he's been away for four years, that's a bit more believable. Do so, it is necessary to collect data using the Pokedex. This is what I wish to ask of you. And I want to entrust you with this Pokedex. You will use it... Will you use it to record? Nah, I don't feel like it. I can stand here without speaking for hours. Let me ask you again. Will you use it to record? No, I don't want to. Pretty sure this is, uh... Kind of a dick move. Good answer! Took you a couple tries, but good answer. In the end, you got there, and that's what counts. That Pokedex is a very high-tech device. It will automatically record data on every kind of Pokemon you encounter. How can I ask that you go everywhere and meet every kind of Pokemon in this region. Oh, is that all? Is that all you want of me? I don't know if I can do that, you fucking old douche. I've got the same kind of Pokedex as you. Fucking, what are you even doing here, Lucas? When you walked up Route 20 201 with your Pokemon, what did you feel? I've lived here for 60 long years, except for those four where I wasn't, apparently. Even now, I get a thrill when I'm with a Pokemon. Yo. Fucking, it's your business, bro. I didn't ask, so you shouldn't tell. I'm all for, you know, everyone loving each other, but uh, I don't know about you and Pokemon. That's uh, that's that's a whole other barrier. Now you should know that there are countless Pokemon in the world. That means there are just as many thrills waiting for you out there. Yo, my thrills are way different from your fr thrills, old br old dude. Maybe you should calm your jets in that department. Now go! Token, your grand adventure begins now. Uh, 19 minutes. And he's still talking to me, so... What, I don't get Pokeballs? What the hell's this? God damn it. Up oh, here we go. Hey, I want to show you if you... Oh, God sakes. Ah, the first game... The first generation to do this, I see. This building with the red roof is the Pokemon Center. You can get your Pokemon healed if it's been hurt in battle. You'll find a Pokemon Center in most towns. Over here, the building with the blue roof is the Pokemart. It's a shop where you can buy and sell all sorts of items. Token, since you're a rookie trainer, 
You won't be able to buy very much stuff. Don't worry about it, okay? Oh, yeah, right. Token. You should let your family know you're helping <laughs> Rowan put together his Pokédex. Sometimes you have to go far away and you should let someone know. Oh, but first, go heal up at the Pokémon Center. You'll be safe then. Normally I'd be like, fuck that noise and just leave town, but I know for a fact they won't let me. Since I tried doing that uh, as a kid and it annoyed the piss out of me. Yeah, yeah, restore the tire, go for it. Take the Pokémon. Probably could have ended the episode before coming in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hope to see you again. Well, fuck you. I don't want to be seen again from this place. I want my Pokémon to be perfectly healthy. Righto. Um... Ugh. I might just cut out walking back because it's so boring, but, uh, alright, we'll call it 22 minutes, roughly, and the tutorial's done. Again, Sun and Moon looking at you on my desk right now, you could learn a thing or two from here. You could also unlearn a thing or two, didn't need the introduction on what a Pokemon Center was, but... <sighs> what are you gonna do? Nintendo is who they are. That'll be it for me for this episode, thanks so much for watching, uh... I still don't think I have Pokeballs, so... Eh, I can check, real quick. Uh, item, medicine. Yeah, no, I don't have Pokeball, so nothing doing there. Alright, so until then, uh, talk to your shooting negotiators and see you around Asklands.